Hey YouTube, Renee from Insane Fit at Home, and I want to show you the um, breakdown of today's workout uh, for all of you who have no interest in, um, you know, joining up to anybody's website or anything like that, and prefer to peruse the internet for um, various kinds of workouts and patch them together on your own. That's wonderful. Okay, um, so. With that said, I like to still keep bringing in workouts, and I've been trying to post one real-time workout for everybody every week, but sometimes I just get like overly zealous and excited, and I know I'm supposed to be, you know, working my business and all of that, but I can't help wanting to share. I just can't help it. So I've been finding other things to do too besides um, working out and working on my workout website. So to be creative, like for instance, before I show you this real quick, don't go anywhere. Come back. Look, I'm making candles. Lots and lots of candles. And candles. And tinctures. And salves. And all kinds of awesome stuff. And my class in clinical herbalism starts in just a few weeks. I'm so excited. Okay. Enough of that. Yay. So we had three pots today. Today was different because I felt at the very, 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 very bottom of my emotional barrel and uh, creativity. Yeah, I've also been trying to play my guitar and sing songs. That's a hoot. When I actually get through one whole song, maybe I'll load that. I'm trying to do one that I want to dedicate to my dad. But anyway, so we have three pots. Pot one was all, the whole thing was killer core. Okay, core, core, core. Um, and shoulders and arms. So. Ankle weights, I kept them on the whole workout, all right? Let me show you. So part one was five rounds, three exercises. And this is what we did. So it took a bit of time. I actually had to do one, uh, part one and part two, then stop the camera and then start it over right away for part three. So it is only a moderate sort of intensity cardio. Okay, this is all about um, strength, coordination, core strength, and um, muscle sculpting. Okay, and even a little building when you're, you're doing it with your body weight. I, I've got a good amount of body weight for somebody my size because I get a lot amount of muscle. So when I'm heaving my own body weight around, I can actually put on muscle, okay? Um, just like uh, Zuzanna does. She has lean body, lean uh, muscle mass, and she doesn't heave a lot of wicked heavy weight, okay? So ankle weights, 10 plank to opposite, uh, uh, knee to opposite elbow and then sliding out. I use sliders. If you're on a rug and you don't have furniture movers, you can use paper plates. If you're on tile or wood, you can use rags or paper plates. Again, so this one was 10 reps. Okay, come into your plank position. Alrighty, you're gonna come across the body. See that? Across, return to plank, and out to the side. That's one. So you're gonna do 10 of those on one side. And then if you can do it without dropping to your knees for a sec, Go ahead and do the other side. And really quickly, even with just the 10 reps on each side, you're gonna to start to feel these muscles burn. Your transverse abdominals, your lower abs, big time, and your obliques. 10 on one side, 10 on the other, and then ditch your guys over here and do 10 leg raises. If you can do them without putting your hands onto the lowest part of your bottom, awesome. If you need to, if you see your low back keeps coming up, then you need to place your hands onto the lower part of your butt so that you have that sort of posterior tilt of your pelvis to keep your low back down and safe. You can also put something underneath your feet so that your feet don't go all the way to the ground, okay? Like a couple of pillows or something. Or if you're advanced, squeeze and lift. Inhale, exhale for 10. Inhale, exhale for 10. Try to keep enough space here for your fist and your shoulder blades up off the floor, your shoulders. And that, Oh, and then you stay there and you go into 10 regular upper ab crunches, okay? So that's one round, you've got four more. So you go right back to your beginning, your plank, and you do your 10 sliding on one leg, 10 on the other, onto your back, 10 leg raises, stay on your back, 10 upper ab crunches. So that's five rounds of that. Part two was the hottest one. That first one was quite the killer. I'm telling you, your abs are gonna burn. I wouldn't be surprised if your abs are actually sore and your shoulders and upper body um, tomorrow if you do this today. The second part was 10 burpees with a push-up, which actually are pretty high when you have these, there's five pounds on each ankle, so I'm, my legs are 
holding 10 pounds of weight. So you really have to be careful in that instance, in that instance, when you're jumping out to plank and when you're jumping in, you really want to be squeezing your abs so that you don't strain your lower back because of the weight here. Okay, so and again, you don't have to use weight. So you're going to hop out with a really tight core. I'm already thinking about my core, okay, because I've got those weights there. So I'm not like this or anything. I'm going to tuck my bum, make it kind of flat there and squeeze my core. Do your push up and think about your abs again here so you can jump in safely. Okay, 10 of your burping with the push up. And then here comes the tricky, wicked challenge part. Okay, you're going to get your sliders. I'll show you a modification in a sec. Okay, put your hands on the floor. It doesn't matter if you're like this or like this. Sometimes I have issues with, um, what do you call that thing, tendonitis or something like that. So sometimes you'll see me cheat and go on to like this. Okay, so I started here and I slid out to a straddle. Okay, and then using my abs and my inner thighs, I'm coming back up, then out to plank and up to pike. Okay. Out to straddle, squeeze, draw your shoulders down, come up, stay close to your body. Out to plank, up to pike, okay? So from the side, from the front, so that was so, out to straddle, up, plank, up to pike, that's one rep, okay? You've got to do 10, okay? So just keep your feet close to your hands, okay, guys? Keep them close. So you're going out to your straddle, okay? Pull your shoulders down, then pull them in close using your low abs, out to plank, up to pike. Ignore that. 10 of those, then go back to your burpee with the push up, and then back to your 10 sliding straddle to pike ups. And let me stop that, that's horrendous. Please stop. Okay, all right, five rounds of that too. And then your last pot, is something I'm not sure if I've ever done with you YouTubers, and it's called a pretzel. Sorry. Stop it. All right, it goes like this. So in this situation, you're going to be making a bunch of 90 degree angles here. So your front knee is lined up with your hip, and that's one 90 degree angle there. And then your ankle is lined up with your knees. So there's your other 90 degree angle. So we've got one, two, okay? And then on this side, you're doing the same, okay? You're lining up your, your knee with your hip. So you don't want your knee here. You don't want it there, because we want, uh, you'll see. You want it back here, and then your ankle in line with your knee. Because then you're gonna lean slightly. Okay, so we're all set up and you're gonna lean slightly over, keep your chest up and your shoulders back and down, all right? And you're gonna start lifting, keeping that knee in the back there, that back area, because if it comes too far forward, you're no longer gonna feel it, where I want you to feel it in the spot that I call the chunk delights, which are right here, okay? So, and they're not so delightful when you don't want them to be there, but they end up there when you enjoy too many delightful treats. So lift and lift, and lift for 10, and when you're no longer feeling it in that spot, just check yourself, because that probably means that your knee came forward, okay? 10 of those, and then you're gonna come onto your side, and you're going to do 10 lifts, okay? Then back down for 10 and 10, take that moment to establish your bunches, four different 90 degree angles here, okay? And then back to your 10 hip lifts. Five rounds on one side, then do the left side, five rounds on the other side. Okay, you guys, a quick modification for those awesome sliding shoulder, inner thigh, ab thingies. The straddle to, to plank and then the pike to plank. The modification for that would just be a little bit more hopping. So you would just be here, okay? You can, you can either push up into that and then jump to this wide position, okay? Or you can hop to pike, hop to straddle. Okay, hop to pike, hop to straddle. But really, if you have something to slide, give it a go. Alrighty? And I'm, I'm thinking, I'm wondering if you can even do it on your knees with the sliders. Let's see, let's be crazy. Let's see, can you do it on your knees? Out, right, in, out, up. It's not nearly the amount of work, but on a 
honestly, it's a great little beginner move because I can really feel it in the low, low abs there. It takes all the shoulders and, and it may, sort of holding, your, holding all your body weight, takes that all off the shoulders and just puts it on the inner thigh and the outer tushy, hip, and the low, low abs. Give that a try. That was really cool. That was a spontaneous makeup. I just made up that um, modification just now. It's super safe, super awesome. I hope you enjoy it. Bye. Sorry about the phone thing. Bye.